everyone, welcome to Storytime with the Bookmobile. I'm Brianna. I'm Will. And I'm Olivia. And Will, what's our theme for this month? Our theme for this month is imagination. So we're going to read the book, The Book of Mistakes, which is a really good book about turning something that might not be what you planned on, on it being, turning into something good. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do some crafts about imagination and sing some songs, and all one song, and do some jokes. So That sounds let's do great. It. Awesome. Yeah, I think that... Tuna is with me, and uh, she has a few jokes to tell oh, if good. you want to do that next. Oh, great. Uh, Mr. I would Crackle's love to start with, yeah. start with some yeah. jokes. Very excited. Hey, Mr. Crackle. Hey, Tuna. Do you like to hear some jokes about art and oh. painting? Definitely. All right. What does a mama color wheel say to a baby color wheel when it's in trouble? I don't know. What does it say? Don't use that tone with me. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Are you ready? What did the artist draw before she went to bed? I don't know. Was it a painting? No, the curtains. Oh. oh. <laughs> Which animals are also famous painters? I didn't know animals were painters. P Pablo Picasso and Vincent van Gogh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, too. Well, all right. that's, that's all the jokes I have today. Yeah, they were good. Want to go back and listen to them while they sing This Little Light of Mine? Sure. Sounds great. All right. You guys ready to sing a song? Oh, yeah. 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 What so song are we going to sing? So we're going to sing uh, This Little Light of Mine. So it's oh, a pretty that's good one, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. That's a good song. Nice. That's a good song. Oh, not our best singing ever. Not our best, but... but <laughs> good song. Usually we have the puppets to help us sing. <laughs> well, Will, do you have something for the craft today? I do. So we're going to do something similar to what they do in the Book of Mistakes. Mm -hmm. So we have all these colors of paper. So you can take whichever one you want to work with. And a bunch of crayons and a bunch of markers. And so the way this is going to work is that we're going to make... Just a simple shape, like a smudge or a dot or a line mm -hmm. on our paper, and then pass it to the person to our left. And they're going to add something to that and make it into something different, like an actual picture. So if you make a dot, you can make it like the head of a person or something else mm -hmm. to, you know, turn it into something nice. And then use you're gonna your imagination. Use your imagination, exactly. Yeah. And then we're going to pass it to the next person who's going to add something to your dot, and then so on. Cool. That was right. fun. So we can start by just drawing something small on there, something simple. Ready to pass it? Yeah. All right. So I ended up with um, an alien and his spaceship. Where's the spaceship there? And he's saying, I come in peace. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, mine's a little smaller. So we got a nice woman wearing a really nice hat, and she's buying some fruit. Nice so there's some bananas, some grapes, some, I think those are apples, and there'll be oranges. Um, yeah. Sounds like a great afternoon. Olivia's flower so. really inspired me for the hat. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ended up with a hand holding a nice bouquet of flowers. Nice. Yeah, yeah. these all started off with one little squiggle or circle or design. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this was really fun. Yeah. The Book of Mistakes by Corinna Lucan. It started with one mistake. Making the other eye even bigger was another mistake. But the glasses, they were a good idea. The elbow and the extra long neck, mistakes.
but the collar, ruffled with patterns of lace and stripes, that was a good idea. And the elbow patches, they were, good, they were a good idea too. The bush was another good idea, dark and leafy so that you couldn't see through it. To the frog cat cow thing, another mistake. The big space between the ground and the bottom of the girl's shoe was a little bit of a mistake too. But the roller skates, those were definitely not a mistake. The second frog cat cow thing made a very nice rock. And the girl with the very long leg looks like she always meant to be climbing that tree. Even the ink smudges scattered across the sky look as if they could be leaves, like they'd always wanted to be lifted up and carried. And what about the girl? Do you see? How with each mistake, she is becoming Do you see? Now. Who she could be. Buck. Thanks for a, reading that well. Yeah, no problem. It's great to read. Yeah. What was your favorite part? Uh, I like the part at the end. Let's see if I can pull up the page when it shows the tree with all of the balloons and all the people in it. I thought that was a really nice picture. Oh. Right here. Oh, that is a nice picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It's cool to see how it all comes together. It is. <laughs> what are your favorite parts? Um, my favorite part was the part where they she adds the roller skates. Oh, yeah. Um, and that they were definitely not a mistake because <laughs> roller skates are never a mistake. <laughs> Um, I like the part with the frog, cat, cow thing. <laughs> I thought that was funny, and I yeah. also thought it was a good reminder that sometimes when you're creating, things don't always turn out the way you want them to. But it doesn't yeah. mean that they don't look cool or that they're not 
a fun addition to your picture. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you.